Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner. So we talked about tensors. Uh, we talked about the force per unit volume given E and B fields. And now I'm going to introduce to you da -da -da -da, the Maxwell stress tensor, the title of this section. So the Maxwell stress tensor is defined as epsilon naught. This is the definition, epsilon naught of E I E J minus one half Kronegger delta I J of E squared, okay, plus one over mu naught, would you believe it, B I B J minus one over half Kronegger delta I J B squared, and that's it. That's the Maxwell stress tensor. This is the entire tensor. Every single one of the terms can be derived using this simple formula, okay, and to prove it to you, I am going to derive different terms than they derived in the book. So I'm going to derive a pressure term. Let's say TZZ. Okay, so I put Z in for I and Z in for J. So I get epsilon naught, uh, this is a funky epsilon naught, EZ times EZ, EZ squared, minus one half Kronegger delta IJ of E squared, which is just EX squared plus EY squared plus E z squared, okay? And then we get the magnetic term that looks exactly the same. I'm going to simplify this plus 1 over mu naught the same, okay? Let's simplify. Okay, so we have e z squared minus 1 half e z squared, so we're left with 1 half e z squared and then negative 1 half e x, negative 1 half e y, so negative e x squared, and we already have the half here, minus e y squared plus 1 over 2 mu naught b z squared minus b x squared minus b y squared. So that's the z z term. Let's do the y x term. So t y x is equal to epsilon naught e y e x minus 1 half Kronegger delta i j. Well i j is different so Kronegger delta is 0 so that's it plus one over mu naught b y b x. Okay, at this point I'd like to talk just to clarify something that confused me, probably confuses you. Okay, when we look at the Maxwell stress tensor, um, we get confused with the notation. Okay, these indices are not typically what you're used to with some other notations. We're not, it, it is you know, we might get confused with series notation or you know whatever okay EX, EY, EZ are the components of the electric field at the point in space that we're calculating the stress tensor for meaning the stress tensor is going to vary across space according to how E fields and B fields vary across space okay so we take the X component of the E vector and the Y component of the E vector. For instance, if we're calculating TXY at a particular point, we take those components and multiply them together. Okay? Same thing with BX and BY. Okay? And don't let yourself get confused. If you need some time to kind of understand what everything here means, take the time absolutely. Every one of these symbols on this page should make a ton of sense. Um, once again, if, if you've forgotten what the Kronegger delta is, if I and J are the same, like Kronegger delta XX, it's one, otherwise it's zero. Okay, so it's just a way to, we, to, to give a special behavior to the diagonal terms. Okay, so hope that helps. Um, notice that the tensor isn't a vector. It has nine components, and you don't have I's and J's floating around. Um, doesn't work that way. Um, we'll get to how you multiply a tensor in a second, and we'll use that to calculate the divergence of the tensor. So thanks for your time. Take care and bye.